guys, welcome to episode 10 of my Pleasant View Let's Play. Today we're going to play Nina Caliente, who now lives at the Pleasant Vista Apartments over here in the condo district of Pleasant View. I did make one change to the neighborhood, and that is I added the Pleasant View Cemetery up on the hill so all of my Sims ancestors could watch over them. I'm going to go ahead and load up Nina now. Um, Nina, she last time we played, she took a job in the law enforcement career, which is not her dream. Her dream is to be a world-class ballet dancer, but she really needed the money, so she did take that job. And at, when we left her last, she was woohooing with Don Lothario. Um, they still have a pretty good, strong relationship. And she actually wants to woohoo in bed again, so I'm going to get them to woohoo again and then we will say goodbye to Dawn. He's got to go back home to his wife and child. She's talking about babies. Maybe she's talking about Dawn's new baby. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I just heard her meow. Okay, so that satisfied that want for her, and I'm just going to let her sleep until she wakes up. She has the want to woohoo with three different sims now, and she wants to get a kitten. I think that would be a great idea if she keeps that want after she wakes up. We might um, adopt a cat for her. She has to go to her first day of work at 9 a.m. in the morning. Um, so we're just going to let her sleep. Did I say 9 a.m. in the morning? Oh my gosh. We just got struck by lightning here. I wonder if that's going to wake them up. Wake up, guys. The tree is on fire right outside your apartment. They are just sleeping away. Sounds like the fire department showed up. And the rain put it out. I wonder what Cassandra thinks about Dawn staying out all night. Because um, he is not showing any signs of leaving. Oh, and another thing I want to mention is... Nina is technically 24 years old at the beginning of this episode. Um, she is getting a couple extra days of life that I'm just going to ignore because whenever I moved her in her apartment, it just became Monday at 8 a.m. So she's actually going to get two extra days at li of life. At the end of this episode, we're just going to call her 29, um, so she'll be the same age as her twin. So Nina's just going to say goodbye to Dawn um, so she can start getting ready for work for her first day at her new job in the law enforcement career. She's gonna, just going to take care of some needs, make something to eat, and get going. Uh-oh. So it looks like Nina is about to be sick, and I'm pretty sure that means she is pregnant, and it must be Don Lothario's, because he is the only guy that she has been with. So, she's going to her first day at her new job at the, in the law enforcement career, and she is pregnant with Don Lothario's baby, so this is going to be a lot of fun. Um, she's thinking about Don. We're going to have to try to keep his illegitimate child a secret from Cassandra. Um, and I guess Dina is going to have to raise him or her on her own. Uh, luckily, Don has plenty of money, so he can pay child support for this child. And we have a chance card. The precinct's kitchen is out of donuts, and the grumblings, both vocal and otherwise, are growing to a fevered pitch. Nina herself is starving, but she also has a stack of important paperwork she needs to get done by the end of the day. The other officers would surely be grateful if she walked downtown and picked up a few dozen of the precinct's favorites, but the paperwork is also looming pretty large. Mm, I'm going to say Dina would probably go get the donuts. Oh, she loses one body skill point due to her lack of self-control. 
Oh my gosh, she's eaten over half of the four dozen donuts she'd set out with. Wow, Nina. Good job. We're just going to speed through this until Nina gets home from work. Okay, Nina's home from her first day of work and she brought a friend home, Mario Monroe. So this is going to be a good opportunity for her to uh, make a friend because when they bring somebody home from work, they already have an increased relationship. She already has a 25 on the top and 15 on the bottom. But how weird is this? Mario is a police officer with a mohawk. He's like a punk police officer. That makes no sense to me, but <laughs> okay. So she's going to invite him up and hang out with him for a little bit. She wants to be friends with him. She also wants to get a roommate, but that's like impossible because she has this tiny... Okay, he's down there drinking. She has this tiny apartment, so I guess she's going to go down here and have a drink with Mario. She hasn't gotten her baby bump yet, so I think it's safe for her to drink. Oh, the toilet's all gross because she puked in it. All right, she really needs to talk to Mario, so we're going to work on that relationship for a little while. While the two of them are down here hanging out together, Nina actually starts gossiping to Mario, and she's gossiping about how Dina caught her and Dawn together in the hot tub, and she's laughing about how funny it is. So that was pretty mean, Nina. <laughs> Um, and then she came upstairs and started watching sports, and we found out that her one true hobby is sports, and she really likes uh, watching it on TV. Then she decides it's hot tub time. Nina and Mario just became friends. I think it is adorable how they splash each other in the hot tub. It's so cute. And she's serving up some burnt spaghetti for dinner. That's the first time she's ever made spaghetti, and it didn't turn out very well. So, Nina just got her first baby bump. Um, with a little one on the way, Nina's been placed on maternity leave. Now it's time to kick back and get a little rest and relaxation before the big day. So she is 100% pregnant with Don Lothario's baby. <laughs> I've been thinking about uh, decreasing the pregnancy time so it sort of matches uh, the rest of my aging times. Like, it doesn't make sense that my Sims are pregnant for three years <laughs> because they are. They're pregnant for three days and that's three years in my uh, Sim world. So I'm thinking about um, changing it to maybe like 18 hours, which would be about nine months in Sim time or in sim to real world time. Um, but I didn't do that now. So she's just going to go ahead and be pregnant for the three days right now. I'm still um, researching that and thinking about that for the future. Just going to fast forward through some more of this boring stuff while Nina cleans the toilet and makes a deposit in her bank account. Nothing really exciting. Oh no, so I was trying to have Nina deposit $500 into her bank account and I just made her donate $500 to charity. What did I press? I don't know what I just did. I did donate money instead of deposit money? Okay, well I'm going to have to give her that money back.
Okay, so I used the family funds cheat to give her her $500 back, or 500 simoleons. And now I'm actually going to have her deposit that. Okay, deposit, not donate, please. Okay, and now she has $700 saved in her bank account. And she's trying to save up money for so that she can buy a house. Or, yeah, it's going to have to be a house because she's not going to be able to afford to rent a bigger apartment. So she's going to buy either a condo or a small house for her and her child. And Dawn might have to help out with that too. So we'll see how that goes in the future. And she received $200 from Don Lazario for child support. So she is receiving child support um, even though the baby's not born yet. I actually didn't even realize that the mod would do that. But yeah, she's receiving child support now. So that's going to help her out a lot. I'm actually going to have her deposit that child support directly into her bank account. That's going to give her about 900 simoleons in her bank account, so she's making pretty good progress um, on her savings. She wants to be best friends with Mario, so I am going to invite him over. And we're also going to check to see if there's a dancing job available for her. They might not want to hire her when she's pregnant, but she's never going to give up on her dream. Unfortunately, there were no jobs in the dance career available today, so she's going to try again tomorrow. She is really not attracted to uh, Mario at all, <laughs> but she wants to be best friends with him. Um, she keeps getting the like puking uh, animation. Like she's getting sick to her stomach and she's farting the little X's out of her. That was a foul way to say that. But anyway, she doesn't like him. She wants to be friends with him, but that's all. He is in the friend zone. The punk rock cop in a tracksuit is in, a, in the friend zone. She's going to spend the rest of her day um, kind of trying to hang out with Mario. They keep missing each other. Uh, one of them will go inside and the other one will go outside, so I don't know, that's kind of weird. And then she got really tired, so she just had to go to bed. Uh, but they're friends now, so that's good. I don't think anything more is ever going to come of that. He keeps getting the little animation where he thinks that she's hot, but she doesn't feel the same way. So I think they're going to remain friends. Oh! Nina just got her second baby bump. So it's Thursday at 1 a.m. She got her second baby bump. So the baby should be born on Friday about 2 a.m. So we're just going to take care of her needs and get her through um, until then. We're going to have a new little baby very soon. She's going to get up and eat a lot. I feel like she is just eating constantly during this pregnancy. She just cannot get enough food. She actually gained some cuisine enthusiasm because she's just constantly cooking and eating. <laughs> okay, so there is an opening today in the dance career tract as an aer aerobics instructor. She is going to take a pay cut, a significant pay cut, but she has to follow her dreams, so she's going to take this job. Um, she works Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Pay is only 172 a day. Right now she's making like 600 a day, so it is a big pay cut. But she has to go for it so that she can follow her heart. So we're going to take the job. And now she has to wait, you know, until she's not on maternity leave anymore to start. But they have agreed to hire her. As soon as she has the baby, she's going to start as an aerobics instructor. So we've got more um, brushing her teeth, eating, pooping, bathing. <laughs> she did deposit some more money into her bank account. So she has about 1,400 simoleons at this point. Not really all that much considering she needs like 15,000 for a condo. I'm going to have Dina go, or I'm sorry, Nina go downstairs and visit Benjamin Long. Um, she ha started building a relationship with him in the last episode, and so I want to keep that going. 
he may be a future love interest for her or he may just be a friend. And she is going to go into his apartment to visit. Looks like he's watching TV. She's going to go join him. And they're just going to hang out down here for a little bit. She feels very comfortable just lounging on his couch. Somehow she heard her phone ringing from all the way from downstairs, so she's going to go up and answer it. So they did get a little bit of relationship boost from that. So she's just going to talk on the phone for a little bit, and then I had her deposit her 200 simoleon child support check into her bank account, so she has about 1,600 simoleon saved now. I'm having Nina call Don and inform him that she is pregnant, so... She's just going to talk to him and then, actually, I think she's going to invite him over because I think she needs to sit him down and talk to him face to face about this. This isn't the kind of thing you want to tell somebody over the phone. So she's going to invite Don over and give him the news that he is going to have an illegitimate child <laughs> with Nina. She's exhausted. Go take a nap until Don gets here. Oh, he's here. I probably should have taken the nap first, but I wasn't paying attention to her needs. I know you're tired, but you need to talk to Dawn. Oops. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to talk to him about fashion and stuff, not about the baby. So I'm going to make Dawn selectable so that I can have him acknowledge that she's pregnant. Okay, that didn't work. So, rub belly. We gotta hurry before Nina passes out. In the rain, too, right in the rain. I wanted to take a screenshot of this, but it's gonna be. Alright, so there's no way that he doesn't know she's pregnant now. I'm going to have her... Oh, and he just paid $200 for child support. Well, he's been paying child support, so I guess he did know she was pregnant. Um, what was I going to do? I'm going to have her... Oh, I'm going to unselect Dawn. And then I'm going to have her tell him goodbye because she is about to pass out. 
I just wanted her to tell him face to face that she was having his baby. Nina's just going to get some rest because she is preparing uh, for the birth of her baby, which is going to happen very soon. She's just going to talk on the phone. I don't know who she's talking to on the phone, but she told them that she was pregnant because um, she was talking about pregnancy. She's just going to take care of her needs. Um, she decided to do a workout. I think she's trying to keep in shape even though she's pregnant. She really likes to stay in shape and she needs to stay in shape for her job whenever she starts her job as a dancer. Okay, the baby is here. I guess all that working out um, really did the trick and she has gone into labor and she is all alone again. I really need to remember to like call somebody over to be with my sims when they're by themselves. I hate for them to go into labor all alone. I should have made Dawn come over here and be with her. But here it comes, our little Lothario Caliente baby. Uh, who's going to have the last name of Caliente, so nobody knows about the illicit affair. Oh my gosh, oh. It's adorable. It's a little girl. So we are going to name her Gia. Her name is Gia Caliente. Wow, look at uh, Nina's arm there. So I do have a certain naming convention that I use to come up with the names for my sims. If you're interested in that, it's on my gameplay. It's on my gameplay rules on my blog. Nina's been given an additional three days off in order to give the newborn all the attention it deserves and needs. Another change that I made I want to talk about is I may I changed the age of babies. They're going to age up at age two. So they're going to be babies for two days instead of the one day that I had it set to before. And that's because whenever I went into SimPE to edit the age, uh, the lifespans, for some reason, it did, it did not like the one day for the babies because you have to put in zero days and some PE just didn't like it. So I'm going to make them babies f until the age of two. And I think that's pretty, you know, I think that's pretty realistic too. They're not going to start walking and toddling around and stuff until they're about two anyway. So this is our little baby Gia. She has Dawn's black hair and the green eyes of both Nina and Dawn have green eyes. So she has their green eyes and she has the um, medium dark skin tone that they have. I think she is going to be a beautiful um, child. So the next step is we're going to have to find a way <laughs> to put a crib into this tiny little apartment. So let's see if we can fit one in. We're just going to get the cheapest crib available. I could put it behind the couch. I think I'll put it beside the couch. Just like that. I mean, we, I, we really... I might be able to put it... I don't want to put her right in front of the door like that. We're going to put her right there in the kitchen. <laughs> Nina's the only one in here cooking, so she's not going to get in her own way. So we're just going to put the little crib right there for now. Okay, so it's Friday at 2.41 a.m. She has her little baby. We're just going to go through the baby care routine for the next two days. And she got a positive memory of having her baby. And I am going to pause and take some screenshots here. I'm taking several screenshots here of Nina and the baby. Uh, I feel bad because I didn't take very many, or I didn't take any screenshots of the Lothario family whenever the baby was born. And also in the Goth family, um, I didn't get... I hardly got any screenshots before Mortimer died, so I'm trying to take more uh, in my families, of my families in the future. I just got a pop-up that said the carpool will arrive for Nina <laughs> in one hour. 
Um, she's very, very tired, and she doesn't have... Yeah, the carpool's coming. She does not have a nanny set up for the baby, so she is going to have to get up immediately and call for a nanny, which is going to take more of her money. But she really has no choice. She doesn't have anybody else to watch the baby. And I want to invite Dawn over so he can meet the child, but he can't come over and watch her because he's got to work too. So we're going to have the nanny track her schedule to come any time that she's at work. And she should be right over, hopefully, because uh, Nina's carpool is here right now. I don't see a nanny anywhere in sight. I would really hate for her to miss her first day of work. But it looks like she's going to have to miss her first day of work, or she's going to have to call the nanny to come right now. The carpool left. <laughs> she can still make it in time. Just come right now. And then she can, hopefully she can still make it to work. You need to change the baby, change her diaper. If she's sleeping, you can't change her diaper. Come on, she's got 15 minutes. Okay, there's the nanny. So she's going to walk to work now. So that all worked out, and she's going to start her new career um, as a dancer, or as an aerobics instructor, but in the dance career track. Alright, we have a problem. Two nannies showed up. That is a big problem. She is not here to... I wonder if I can dismiss without her being here. Nope. So that is going to take a huge chunk of her money because she is going to pay for two nannies now. And I have no way to dismiss them. And if she leaves work, she's going to lose pay. Which she definitely can't afford to do now. So <laughs> I should not have hired the second nanny, but the first one didn't show up and she had to go to work. Oh, boy. I like that the nannies will clean up the house. If you get a good nanny that's not lazy, she will clean uh, while she's there. And they'll actually even cook as well. And sometimes they'll cook like really high quality meals. So that's nice to have. Oh no, the nanny just set the house on fire. Um, she was too busy watching. And it's right by the baby, oh my God. Get the baby out of the house. Oh my gosh, don't put the baby in the fire. Oh no, oh my god. Wow, okay, I really thought the, she was just going to set the baby on fire. That was horrible. Thank you so much, Callista. So you're the one who's going to get fired because you almost just burned our baby up. Jeez. That was scary and terrible. And why is this thing still on? Oh boy. Nina just got home from work and she's been promoted to backup dancer. So she brought home 220 simoleons and got a bonus of 440. So that's going to help out a lot since she has to pay for both of these extremely inept nannies who almost burned her child up. All right. Your first opportunity to show your skills and hopefully hone your craft by working with the veterans in the industry. That's awesome. So she's on her way up the ladder. Let's have her go in and get rid of these nannies. 
Obviously, this placement of this crib is causing a big problem here. I think that's probably what caused the fire. These nannies are just standing here fighting with each other. It's ridiculous. And annoying. Get out of here. Oh my gosh, $250 just about. So she was making salmon croquettes that she caught on fire, but Nina doesn't care. She's going to eat those burn-up croquettes. She's got to take care of the baby first, though. Okay, stop eating. Take care of your baby. You're not even hungry. She is going to pass out. She is so tired. Gia's birthday is only a day away, so in one day, um, Saturday at 6 p.m., we are going to have a little toddler. <laughs> Nina is already exhausted raising this baby on her own, but she's got no choice. I'm going to have her sleep for a little bit, and then she's going to invite Don over. Hopefully he's not at work, and he can come over and meet his daughter. Dawn is at work, so he cannot come over now. She's just going to sleep through the night and invite him over in the morning. Sometimes I really wonder how Cassandra doesn't suspect that Dawn is cheating on her. Like, I wonder how what she thinks whenever Nina calls the house at 9.30 at night asking for Dawn while he's at work. And then he will just talk to women, like, right in front of her on the phone. And she's just oblivious. She must be in denial. I really hope she never finds out about this love child between Nina and Dawn, though. Alright, we're going to try again to invite Dawn over. He is available. We're just going invite, to invite him over alone. Not his household. Oh my gosh. No, you probably don't want to bring your friend for this, Dawn. <laughs> And sometimes if you say yes to that, he'll bring, like, another woman that he's dating over. Wow, that's Nina's outerwear. We might have to buy her some new outerwear if she ever wants new clothes. All right, Dawn. Greet him, and then we'll bring him upstairs. <laughs> He's trying not to come upstairs. She's going to have to... Oh, she can't call him over because he's going to the hot tub. Alright, we're going to have to make him selectable and force him... Oops, what did I do? Force him to come up here and see his daughter. No, do not go to the hot tub. Come up here immediately. And I am going to have to take a screenshot of this. Oops. I just want him to know her. I don't know how their relationship is going to be in the future, but I want him to at least know his daughter. Avoid that new boo. 
Are they better Uber Mover twos? Hmm? And he can give Nina a little bit of a break. And I just want to take a look at his family tree. So he's got his daughter Eva, and now he has his daughter Gia Caliente. She is not going to take his last name. They decided to go outside and play some catch together. The landlord is hosting a weekend apartment gathering. Why not drop by and have fun with the neighbors? You might meet some interesting people. Well, that's cool. I guess she, all the neighbors are going to come out for a get together. It looks like the landlord is going to cook some hot dogs. Um, here comes Benjamin. Brandy Letourneau is here. And she's hungry, so that's good. Here comes Marissa. And I guess Dawn is going to be joining us. Okay, let's go eat some hot dogs. It's really weird that there are, like, kitchen chairs. These look like dining room chairs over here. I might have to change that, those chairs and put, like, outdoor chairs. That bothers me. I don't know why. She's just going to eat a hot dog all alone over here. She's missing out on all the good conversation over there. Oh, here comes Dawn. To make out with her. Oh no, she wants to make out with him, but he's eating. They just left the baby upstairs. She's not going to be able to stay at the gathering for very long because she has to go to work now, but luckily the nanny did show up on time today. We got another chance card for Nina. The company is having a barbecue lunch and are looking for employees to help. Should Nina volunteer to help cook the burgers or serve the salad? Um, I'm going to say serve the salad because I don't think she has those burger skills yet. Oh no, she lost some cuisine enthusiasm. Yeah, I don't really care if she has cuisine enthusiasm, but uh, that's fine. It's 5.30 and little Gia is going to age up at 6 o'clock and unfortunately Nina is not going to be here. She's going to be at work and poor Gia is going to age up with the nanny. Um, Dawn is long gone. So that's kind of sad, but I mean, Nina's a single mother, she has to work, and she's going to miss out on some milestones in Gia's life, and that's unfortunate. We've got about five minutes left, and we are going to have a little toddler. I really wish the nanny wasn't standing in front of the refrigerator so I could get a better look at this, but... Should be any minute now. I don't know why she put her back in the crib. Maybe, okay, here we go. Maybe this is it. Nope, she's gonna feed her. She's putting her back in the crib. She should have aged up 45 minutes ago. Okay, maybe this is it. No. Nope. 
Okay, so she finally aged up at 9.15. Um, and here we have little Gia the toddler. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I want to take a screenshot of her aging up with the nanny. And it sounds like Nina just got home, so she's going to be able to see her very soon. Um, Gia just grew up from a baby to a toddler. Oh my gosh, she's beautiful. Oh, come back here. She has the dark skin and dark hair of Dawn and the green eyes of Nina and Dawn. And look at that adorable hair. Oh my gosh, I forgot I even had that hairstyle. That is so cute. It does not match her dress, though, at all. I have to change her dress because I can't stand it that it doesn't match. <laughs> okay, Nina just got home. And I want to go have her hold her daughter. Aww. All right, get out of here, Callista. At least she didn't set any fires today. Oh, mm, oh, that would be a good shot right there. I hate how when you press escape from tab mode it just sends you like all over the world. Okay, so now that little Gia is a toddler, we can take a look at her. And I didn't do this with my previous toddlers. I'm going to have to do this whenever I play the second round. So I'm not going to forget this time. We're going to look at her little personality. Um, she is a Gemini. She is very unlike her mother. Her mother is a Scorpio who's super neat and active. She is super sloppy, but she is extremely outgoing and active. She is max outgoing and active. She is going to be a very friendly, charismatic, outgoing kind of sim. She's pretty playful, a little, a little more towards serious, and she's very, very nice. Let's see. She, her interests are in the paranormal. Wow. Um, that's mostly what she's interested in is the paranormal. <laughs> that's her highest interest. She also likes animals and sci-fi, okay. She doesn't really have any interest in any of this stuff. Really not interested in the environment whatsoever. <laughs> she is so cute. I want to change her dress and to do that I think you have to have a diaper change station so we're just going to buy it just to change her dress and then we're going to sell it because she doesn't have that kind of money. So plan everyday outfit for Gia. We might have to buy her something. All she has is that and that is probably her formal, her little formal dress. So we're going to go and buy, wait, let me look at her needs first. She's okay for the moment. We are going to go shop online, buy clothing every day. Put her down for a minute. She has no toys, so she's playing in the toilet. So we have to get her some toys. Come on. And we're going to shop for a toddler. And since she has red in her hair, we are going to look for something red. And there is a cute little red outfit right there. I don't know if I like that one or that one better. I think I'll take that one. Maybe. Let me see what else we have available. 
Oh, I love this little red dress and the little socks. I don't know about those socks, though. Let me keep looking. They're all so cute. Oh, my gosh. I'm going with that one. That's the cutest. I'm going with that one. Okay. Oh, going too fast. I'm going too fast. Go plan everyday outfit for Gia. After you finish brushing your teeth, sure, just take your time. Okay, let's look at her in her new dress. Oh my gosh, that is cute, yes. Alright, so we're going to sell that. And then I'm just going to buy a few more things for Gia. We're going to buy her a potty chair, which we have nowhere to put, because there's definitely not enough room in the bathroom, so we're just going to have to kind of put it over here in the, ki in the living room. I'll put it facing that way. And then she also needs a toy, which we have nowhere to put. So I'm just gonna put it right there in the hallway. We are really running out of room. Actually, I'll put it right here. And she definitely needs a rabbit head for charisma. This little apartment is just gonna be completely cluttered with um, baby stuff. I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. I still have another day to play the Caliente household, but I don't think anything too exciting is going to happen, so I'll just go ahead and play that off camera. Uh, we had a very eventful week in the Caliente house. Dina, I'm sorry, Nina, found out she was pregnant with Don Lothario's baby, and she gave birth to little baby Gia, who aged up to a toddler. She did get to meet her father, Don. Uh, Nina quit her job in the law enforcement career and found a job in the dance career track, which is her dream. She also was promoted to backup dancer, which is level two in the career. Uh, she's getting child support from Don Lothario, which is really helping out as she's trying to save up money to buy a house for her and Gia, which I really hope she can do before Gia gets too much older because they are going to run out of space in this tiny little apartment. Um, there was a fire in the house caused by the nannies that almost burned the baby up, but luckily everything ended well there. Um, let's see, she saved up about 1,600 simoleons in her savings account, and we found out that her one true hobby was sports. Also, she became friends with Mario, who she brought home from work. So, those are all the highlights, um, of this week. I appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, leave a comment, and let me know you liked it. If you're interested in any of my gameplay mods, um, you can find those on my blog at PleasantSim.com, where you'll also find my family trees and, uh, sim profiles. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon with a new video.